What's up, fam? My name is Braille Watson, and this is me. Yeah, Way to catch Darker and Sippy right there, Braille. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! That's a clip of me embarrassing documentary melee legend Dark Rain. I still lost. Don't let the clip fool you. I'm actually not that good. I grew up playing just about every FGC game. Tekken, Street Fighter, Alpha 3 was my favorite, Marvel, Smash, you name it, I played it. Some of you may know my face, but have no idea what an FGC is. You're probably used to seeing me do stuff like this. On my toes, here we go. Everything I do, I can't seem to get away from you. Or even this. No capacity to fathom these asses turned assassins debating who is surpassing when they the fruit of my passion. A basic croup to my ass that I make them as I pass them an alley oop in a basket of valleys where to be stacking while I'm just rapping. And yeah, ministry and music is how I spend most of my time. But the FGC has had an immense hand in developing me into the player and person that I am. It meant so much to me that at one point in time, I was both a community and tournament organizer. I even fed people out of my house just so we could play games. So I'm not amazing, I'm not a legend, and I even have a day job that has nothing to do with video games. So why am I talking to you? Honestly, just because I care. And since I care about your time, let's get to it. In today's letter to the FGC, I wanna briefly focus on the beef between Smash 4 top player Salem and Melee God Slayer Leffen, or what it has devolved into, which is Smash 4 versus Melee. Now this is not gonna be drama news, so I'm gonna save you some time if that's what you came for. I'm not gonna be just going through the tweets and giving my opinion. Instead, there's three things I'd like for us to walk away with from this video. Why does this happen? Why does this matter? And what can I do to help in my community? Preface, this video is primarily gonna be from a Smash perspective, because that's the game I play the most and the media that I'm most familiar with. So let's get into number one. So there is so much content on the internet to help you become better at playing. Armada streams, Zero Stream, Smash Corner, SSBM tutorials, beefy Smash dudes, you can watch tournament VODs, even FGC players, I watch Dragon Ball content for like JM Crofts or Rufflemonger are streaming Ultimate right now, and you can watch them and learn. Oh, he got around it. Oh, he keeps getting me with that command grab. Whoa! What not to do, but I love those guys. They're awesome. Go out and play some Dragon Ball. But I rarely see content that is meant to help you become a better player. This is why I think most of these disputes in the Smash community occur. Lack of personal development within the community itself. One of the greatest things about fighting games is that they encourage and foster multi-generational communal relationships. MCRs and MCR? That sounds stupid. They clip that. Basically, they give middle-aged and young people common ground and goals centered around a fun activity. I can make a whole video about why fighting games are amazing. If you like this content, I might do that. But for now, I'll stick to the topic. This is one of the FGC's biggest strengths and is amplified by Smash. Smash has a player base that reaches over three generations because it's aimed towards kids, but it has been a big thing since people who are now 30 were kids. Now you may be asking, but Braille, if you say those fighting games encourage multi-gender ration, whatever, doesn't this whole video disprove your point? Sort of. Bringing all of these ages together in and of itself is amazing. But the problem is when the entire community has the mentality of the lowest common denominator in age. Now this is not an old head bashing young players video. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This is just real. In an inclusive medium like this, age starts to go out the window. Instead, the general culture of the activity and experiences start to determine how people act and react for the most part. For instance, when I was in college, I had a classmate who had been a teacher's assistant in my high school choir class. He definitely had about 10 years of age on me, but my sophomore year of college, I had almost forgotten that. We shared similar experiences, held a similar amount of authority, had the same damn homework. Our experiences were alike, so we started to act alike. Not older, not younger, but somewhere in between. And the Smash community has the same phenomenon. There are players who are over 30 who still behave like 16 year olds. And there are 16 year olds who hold the same responsibility as people who are 30 years old. It happens all of the time. But frankly, when you stop to think about it, freaking weird. So how does this tie into Salem and Leffen? Am I gonna talk about their age? Nah, bro, not really. This is more about culture. Right now, the most common and popular culture in gaming is centered around, you guessed it, the internet. 
use right. The internet has replaced alcohol and its inhibition shrinking ball growing properties. Despite the fact that you actually have more time to consider your responses on the internet than in real life, most people actually take less. People will say things over the internet that they don't mean and that they would never say in person and that they immediately regret. This leads to a culture where people will rally behind anything interesting, regardless of its moral or societal implications, and keep it alive for as long as possible until it festers into an eyesore for the community. This is the meme generation. My years of research. <laughs> All right, I was, it was good. Funny, man, that's a good one. But seriously, there's so many young homies in the Smash community that I know that'll use the nibba all through the chat. Now I know good and well they wouldn't walk up on me in person and say nibba, but the screen protector trap card is mad real. Because people say whatever they want without regard for the people or the backlash that they could get or that they could bring upon someone else, you get a lot of hurt feelings that honestly are warranted. Years of newer Melee players jumping on the Brawl sucks and you suck for playing Brawl bandwagon. Years of uneducated players spewing hate for any game other than Melee because they saw it on YouTube comments. Years of random people who don't even place in tournaments having a very loud voice to speak for games on the internet most likely led to dedicated players like Salem feeling the way that he does. And that very same screen protector giving him the confidence to fire off feelings and frustration, making him and his years of research the meme of Christmas 2018. So why does this matter? I'm going to make this section very brief and simple. Perception matters. People matter. No matter how altruistic or selfish you are, if you like or care about your game, you have to consider these two things in your community. If Smash gets a negative rep on the internet due to preteen-like bickering, it becomes the laughing stock of the FGC. You deter newer players from being involved. That in return deters sponsorship and dollars from flowing into the community. Dollars that extend the life and reach of your game. In other words, if it looks like trash, people will dump it. And this ties directly into the second point. People matter. Even if you don't care about the mental and spiritual health of the people you interact with, which I really hope you do, you cannot improve at fighting games without the help and competition of other people. Metas don't evolve, habits aren't beaten out, and skills are not achieved. As much as I love Melee with all of my heart, if people stop playing the game, I have to move on. Practicing tech skill is fun because I get to practice it on other people. Comparing my progress, my decision-making skills to my colleagues and friends as I compete for their lunch money. Other than Jesus, there's nothing better in life. That fact, people playing the game, is what kept Melee alive when its own creator was saying, let it die. Once that's gone, Peter Pan ceases to fly. Santa Claus no longer exists. And Mexico will obviously not pay for that wall. You have to have people on board for the magic to work. Or it's just a story. It's just a game. So what can you do? Now this is going to vary a bit from person to person. I'm 28 years old. I'm sort of an elder in the gaming community where I come from. So the way that I help is to act like I'm 28 years old. When I see people using Nibba in chat, and I know that they would get curb stomped if they came to my hood and did that, I let them know. And I don't lecture, but I just let them know. Because I know, and they don't. I take a personal responsibility for the people around me that I claim to care about. Instead of just using people for games, what if we also went out of our way to make sure that they're okay and make at least reasonable choices on the internet and in real life? I'm talking about being a moderator for yourself and others, IRL. Now this doesn't mean that we have to be 100% PC all the time. In NASCAR, you have to bump or get some scratches to even have a chance at crossing the finish line first. My pastor always says, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. Relationships are the cornerstone of any community. And in order for us to have real relationships, we'll have to disagree, get on each other's nerves. And if all that's at the core of our relationship is a win-loss ratio, we may not survive that bump. But if we're dedicated to moving forward together, no matter who's at the front, we won't want to wreck each other in order to cross the line first. So what can you do? from whatever perspective of life that you share, care. Care about the other people in your community more than your position or opinion or argument. If that fuels yours and the other people in your community's actions, everything else will work itself out. Anyway, I'm B, 
If you love it, like it. If you hate it, leave it. If you think it's heat, make sure someone else sees it. Jesus is the reason for the season, but these hands will be delivering your beating. So hit me up in the comment section for games. If you're in the Topeka area, uh, see me when you see me. On the screen, you'll see a list of my patrons. My goal is to change the world through music, and these people help me do it. If you'd like to be a brillionaire like them, consider following the link to my Patreon in the description. And uh, that's it. I'm out. One. Whatever you do, show me your will. I just want to feel your touch. If your spirit's moving, this is the reason why I think. This is the reason why I think many disputes that we have years ago to try to. This is the reason why I think many of the disputes years ago they tried to put me in it. This is the reason that I think many of the disputes we have in oh, this is a lie. Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Okay. Whoa!